Magandang araw mga bata! Welcome to Teacher Marles Channel kung saan maraming matututunan sa lesson na ating pag-aaralan. Our subject is Science 6 and I am Sir Mar. Hey kids! Do you consider the time of the year in planning your activities? I will show you a picture. Let us study and describe the difference between the two pictures. This is a picture of a farmer. This two picture happens in two different seasons in the Philippines. The first picture, the farmer is planting. While the second picture, the farmer is already harvesting his crops. People, especially farmers, consider the seasons of the Philippines in planting and in harvesting their crops or even in doing some activities. Today, children, we are going to study seasons in the Philippines for us to know why we need to plan like a farmer in doing activities throughout the year. The Philippines has two kinds of seasons the dry seasons, and the wet seasons. Each season has a particular characteristics. But before we study the two kinds of seasons, let us first define what is a season. What is a season? A season is a subdivision of the year marked by the changes in weather, ecology, and hours of daylight. Seasons results from the yearly revolution of the Earth around the Sun and the tilt of the Earth's axis relative to the plane of revolution. In temperate regions, there are four seasons, namely spring, summer, fall, and the winter. While in tropical countries, there are only two, the wet and dry seasons. Okay, now children, that you already know what is a season, I have a question. Why do you think that Philippines has only two seasons? Seasons of the Philippines The Philippines is located near the equator and countries located near the equator receives direct sunlight. It is the reason why the Philippines has only two seasons. The dry and wet seasons. Unlike in temperate regions, they have four seasons. Okay, now children, let us study wet season in the Philippines. Wet season. It is characterized by a pronounced rainy season with thunderstorms. Wet season starts in June and peaks in July to September and then fall slowly towards the end of the year. During wet seasons, generally daytime temperatures ranges from 30 to 36 degrees Celsius. The air is hot and humid during this day, which brings heavy rains and typhoons in the country. Precipitation is highest in the area where southwest monsoon strikes. Now, children, let us proceed with activities for wet season. Do indoor activities like reading of books, watching television, writing short stories and songs, playing musical instruments, blogging, chatting, and surfing the internet, and playing educational games. Indoor games with families could also be done in the gym or covered courts. For farmers, the wet season is important, for this is the time for planting. Okay, so now children, you already know what is a wet season and the different activities we can do during wet season. Let us now proceed with the dry season. Dry season. It is characterized by hot and cloudless days. Between January and May, the climate is generally dry with occasional rain showers. During January to February, the air is cold and dry. The peak of dry season is in April with less rain showers. The dry season is influenced by seasonal wind and the northeast monsoon or the Amihan. 
Let us now proceed with activities suited for dry season. Number one is we can go to family outings like picnics and long trips. Next is you can travel to historical and beautiful places. Do recreational activities like hiking, swimming, and mountain climbing. We can also do house cleaning, washing, and drying of clothes, as well as do gardening and yard improvement. During the dry season, farmers harvest and dry their crops, as well as the fishermen dry their caught fish. This is also the time to do community activities like team building, outdoor games and tournaments, fiesta celebrations, community cleaning activities, doing community improvement, community parade, and contest. The dry season is also the time for the government to construct roads, drainage, fences, and pavements. Now children, you already know what is a dry season and the activities suited for each season. Now children, before we end our discussion, let us review what we have discussed today. We said that a season is a subdivision of the year marked by changes in weather, ecology, and hours of daylight. And Philippines has two seasons. First, we have the wet season. It is characterized by a pronounced rainy season with thunderstorms. Wet season starts in June and peaks in July to September, and then falls slowly towards the end of the year. While the dry season, it is characterized by hot and cloudless days. Between January and May, the climate is generally dry with occasional rain showers. And that's the end of our discussion for today. Thank you for watching. I am Sir Mar and please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe our YouTube channel. And don't forget also to click the bell button to keep updated to our next lesson.